All right. So here we are inside the Azure Communication Services Siri. Right now, we are going to create the service. And for that, let's look here to Communication Services. As you can see here, we have Communication Services. We click on this and we need to hit Create. All right, let me create a new resource group. For that, I will name this RGSES Test 002. And here, the resource group location, I will keep it in West Europe. And for the resource name, let me give it SES Ashra Test 002. And this is the data location. Actually, this is where your data will be saved or stored. And it can never be changed. All right. So make sure to choose the right data location. For me, I will choose Europe. And I will hit review create. I will wait a few seconds and I will create. Let me zoom out. And like that, we have our source being deployed. Let me refresh here. All right, so I will wait a few seconds in order for this resource to be deployed. Great. Right now we have our source deployed and let's hit go to resource. And here we have the main menu of Azure Communication Services. So as you can see here, we have buttons, how to add chat to your group, how to add telephony and SMS to your group or app, add voice and video calling to your app, and also connect your email domains. Here we have the capabilities and the integration with Teams, with your existing phone number, and with some of the UI existing libraries also some couple of XRs in order to store so to create and manage user access tokens and get telephone numbers send sms uh, handle sms events and email events and even video calling so let me go back here in the settings we have the keys we have the default endpoint for our um, service as you can see here this is the default endpoint interchangeable and here we have the primary key and secondary key here we have the identity for user access token for, for example, if you have some demo or test to do, so you can generate uh, some identity and user access token. So if I hit generate, it will create another identity with another access token. And this can be tested, for example, live with UI library. You will see that. Here we have the push notification, adding user or signed managed identity, adding cognitive uh, services here. And here we have different services that we can use. For example, the telephony and the SMS. We can try SMS if we have already selected a phone number. For now, I don't have a phone number. And we need to have or purchase a phone number. All right. For my subscription, right now I'm not eligible. For example, this is a test subscription. I'm not eligible to get a test number. But we'll be focusing on email. For example, here in email, we can try email if we have a domain name. So we need to connect the domain or set up a free Azure domain. This is actually great. And in the next video, we'll see how to set up our own domain and how to send emails. And if we go to the right here, we can see that we can we have um, a pre-ready code that examples that we can use. For example, with C sharp, JavaScript, Java, Python, and curl. And if I hit insert my connection string, it will add the default connection string that can be used. All right, and we can copy this and test it later. Here we will see the domains. If we have domains added uh, to our email, so for the email service, we can have different domains. We can send emails from different domains. In order to do, to do that, we need to connect the domains. So we need to choose where is our um, domain ser email service. Uh, is located and we need to select it for now I don't have an email service as you can see here you need to add an email service and this is what we will do in the next video so we will create an email service cool here we have the advanced messaging for whatsapp for example we can add communication via whatsapp by scanning this QR code and later doing some channel configuration and templates and here we have the monitoring part where we can see um, details related to voice and video calls, the volume, the quality and details, 
the authentication, API results, if there is denied or any issue, the SMS that were sent and failed and blocked, the chat uh, results, and the emails. For example, here we can see the email that were successfully delivered or failed. And if we click on email performance, we can see either delivery, success rate, error summary, the code details, and below we will see later if we activate this, uh, the email that were sent, we only see the, the, the sender and the receiver and the uh, statement. We can see the recordings right here, the number of recordings, and the call automation if we have uh, count of, of uh, count uh, of calls aut automation. Cool. To enable this, we need to enable it through the diagnostic settings. So I need to add diagnostic settings. If you can see here, we can activate logs for each type of these services. So the telephony and SMS or email or advanced messaging. So we can choose which service that we were uh, want actually to add uh, monitoring or we can even select all. So if I select this, I will select all. But for now, I will only I will leave this, all right. I don't need to save all that or to check all this. I need only to check the email. Let me remove the zoom, all right. So I don't need all this. I only need to save the email service send mail logs, email service delivery status update logs, email service user engagement logs, all right. And here I will give it a name, diag email data 001. And we can save this either in login and workspace or we can archive it into a storage account. And uh, we can also stream it to an event hub or send it to a partner solution. I will keep that inside a login and workspace and I will hit save. And later, when we are going to set up the email communication service, and we are going to do the test later. We'll see from the insights the um, the data related to the emails. Cool. Here also we have logs, so we can use the uh, the logs here. Here we have a pre-ready queries to use. So if I close this like that, here we can see we have some queries that we use. And here let me type email for example. Let me just type, let me remove the zoom out. For example, here I have the email that were sound, uh, sent, for example, here. And we will use later with uh, some examples. Okay, so this was how to create the Azure communication service part. Later we'll see how to create the email service part and how to send email from our domain. Um, uh, with details.